and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create the body, the legs and the arms for the villager. So um let's get started. So go to the create tab, geometry, box, create box, go to the modify tab and change the length to 10, the width to 20, and the height to 30. And with the box selected, uh, align to the head. So use the align tool and align to the head. And just position it so it's underneath. And then what you're going to want to do is uh, maybe in front view, so press F if you want. And to get back into perspective, it's press P. But uh, after you've done that, uh, hold down Shift and copy it over on the X axis. So it's, it goes this way. And just copy it. And you're going to want to change the width to 10. And then just position it as well as you can to the, uh, the chest. So after you've done that, uh, copy it again for the legs. So just move it down. Uh, press F3 if you want to go into wireframe mode that you see right now, and press F3 again if you want to go back over it. And just position that as well as you can. So we're not going to create the other arm and leg just yet. So when you've done that, go back to create. Uh, systems, bones, and we're going to create the spine. So uh, it's up to you how many spinal joints he has, but I just go for two for the moment. Uh, you, it's up to you. So just create two to the very top if you want. And with the rotate tool, make sure they're all rotated perfectly. So make sure they're 90 or 0 or 180 for some reason. So you've done that. Select the the, uh, the main bone, so bone 01, if this is the first bone, and double click it, and it will it will select everything that it's attached to. So once you've done that, uh, hold down Shift and rotate it 180 degrees, which you can do with the snap toggle on. So it will go every five. So after you've done that, move it over, and we're going to align it to the arm. So select the align tool and align it to the arm we just created, and move it down, so back right. Then we're gonna do it again. So select the top one and double click it, and then. Hold down shift and we're going to move it down to the leg. So, so as you can see, and just make sure it is right. So once you've done that, uh, also align it. So make sure it's properly aligned. Uh, make sure. If you want to keep it on the same axis at the uh, for the Z, so it doesn't go like that, make sure to untick Z position. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is attach the bones. So you can need select and link tool, which is right underneath the green uh, uh, icon in the top left corner. So Hold down, uh, select the arm bone, top arm bone, and drag it to the middle bone. So that one there. So when we rotate that, that follows with it. And do the same with the leg bone to the bottom spine. So should we do that? Everything should rotate on that. So now that we've done that. We're going to want to select the the leg bone, the top leg bone, and go to animation, I key solvers, I key limb solver, and choose the bottom one. 
and then what you're going to want to do is we're going to as it probably won't be in the right rotation as you can see that's not the right way so what you're going to want to do is make sure before you start moving around to make sure it's correct is hold down alt and right click and you should get these options and it has this set as skin pose so click that and press yes so now we can move this i keychain all around and we can set it back to its uh, its original position that we just set really quickly so just move it around somewhere not too high just enough that you can tell it's not bending in the right direction and then what you're going to want to do is go to the motion tab which you automatically have already gone to but if it hadn't it's in the motion tab make sure you've got the key chain selected and under key solver properties you should have a swivel angle so in the front view if you want which is F uh, you're going to want to swivel it so it is facing forward as well as you can get it so mine happened to be 90 degrees but okay maybe not. it's 90 degrees in the direction but as you can see that worked so what you should be able to do is go to alt set uh, assume skin pose so alt right click assume skin pose and as you can see it's gone back to where it was but now it rotates in the correct way so that's 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 pretty much that done so we won't copy it over yet so what we'll, we'll start doing now is we'll do the uh, the uh, hmm okay well let's start with just adding some segments to the chest so uh, I put about maybe five in the length segments and for the width segments I'd put about uh, about ten and for the for the height about eighteen because what we're going to make it do so it's not just going to bend it's going to be able to swivel sideways as well which you could use so what you're going to want to do is selecting the chest um, is go to modify list and add a skin modifier so find skin modifier somewhere and I'd also recommend you actually name bones first so uh, an easy way to rename grouped bone, uh, group, uh, selected uh, is to go to uh, where is it there's uh, under tools with the object selected and go to rename objects so I'm gonna call mine spine and you can put a number on it if you want so just uh, tick norm numbered and just rename and now they should all be renamed which will make it much easier for this part so once you've got the skin modder on uh, go to bones and add and you're going to want to add the spine bones which are perfectly named there so hold down shift if you want to select more than one or control and uh, select them and if we were to select one of the bones and bend it you can see it bends so what I'd do is it should be a hundred so much uh, just do a quick animation of the top bone so that it it uh it bends so put 
turn auto key on and go uh, change the slider to 100 and with the with the middle bone selected uh, rotate that not too much though because it's not going to help so once you've done that uh, there's going to be a lot of tweaking you'll have to do so uh, now that should do that so with turn on edit envelopes and you, you'll probably get this colored look uh, red means that bone has all control of those and if it's orange it means both do so as you can see none of them have any orange at all so what you're going to want to do is with this with the top one selected or the bottom one it's, it's a lot of tweaking I can't really explain it 100% so uh, with the outer one because there's two there's two um, spheres one the outer one doesn't take control of it 100% and the middle one does so just wind this one out quite a lot and do the same for the bottom one start to get a lot of orange and oof, uh, you may want to do the same for the bottom side as well and just mess around with that until you get a pretty good uh, um, look for it. Uh, you can go to the display as well and turn off the colored faces if you really wanted to so yeah, there's a lot of tweaking needed to get this to look right. So yeah, just a lot of tweaking. So once you've got it so it bends pretty well in that direction, uh, turn off edit envelopes, we're going to change the rotation the end, so delete the keyframe. And then we're going to rotate it in the other axis so sideways not too much maybe go into local and maybe bend it slightly as well and you need to get that to look pretty good as well which it might already does but you never know you might want to tweak it slightly so yeah do that you may want to change the middle one as you can see it slowly curves a bit differently so do that and that's pretty much it for this so yeah that's it for this tutorial I think um, Next tutorial we'll get on with this, the uh, the arms and bending them. So that should be good. Um, they'll be a bit better than the old version I showed in my last tutorial with the rig. Uh, I hope. It, the only problem with the other the way I would do it now is the uh, faces overlap a bit, and they kind of you you can see them in the in the render sometimes. So yeah but that should be pretty much it so just you have to tweak it I can't really explain it in a lot of detail because it's pretty simple of just changing these spheres from smaller to bigger to change the actual position of the of how many vertices it affects and how much it affects them so yeah just keep tweaking them till you think you've got it about right so yeah and make sure you finished all that delete the keyframes so um next tutorial we'll get on with the arms so uh, thanks for watching if you like the video uh, like it subscribe share it if you've got a comment or a question uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll try and answer it if I can so uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye